Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. This is discussion, the chapter three. A lot of things need to be discussed and to provide detailed explanation. However, we will break it down to module. This is module one to explain about rock cycle. The first thing that you need to know about a rock cycle is the three major rock groups. They are igneous rock, sedimentary rock, and metamorphic rock. The rocks has been classified due to formation and other characteristic that make them unique. And this is uh, the simplest way to show about rock cycle. Uh, originally, uh, the first rock will be formed is igneous rock. And from igneous rock, it will transfer to sedimentary rock. And from sedimentary rock, form to metamorphic rock. So the formation is in terms of cycles, meaning that rock is formed every day. So right now, uh, what you need to see under the rock cycle, igneous rock is already have the origin how the igneous rock form. It is uh, due to process. And then for igneous rock to form into sedimentary rock, a lot of process involved and then for sedimentary rock to metamorphic rock few process involved for that formation so before we move on what are the three major groups of rock okay and the, at the early beginning uh, the parent rock that we know is igneous rock the origin of igneous rock is from hot liquid also known as magma or if this hot liquid ejected to the earth's surface from volcanic eruption, it is known as lava. So this hot liquid magma and lava eventually cools down, especially in the area far away from the high temperature area. When the magma and lava cools down, this process is known as crystallization. The result of crystallization uh, will form igneous rock. So for igneous rock to transform to sedimentary rock, it undergo weathering process. Uh, you can see this is a very big chunk of rock. It uh, form mountain or hill, but this uh, mountain can be break down into smaller particle, smaller fragment or rock, by the process of weathering. A lot of weathering agent at the um, atmosphere of a surface like river, rain eyes and so many more so when this uh, rock has been break down to smaller particle it is then uh, possible to to be transported to another place and afterwards it will be deposited and sedimentation happen and litif litification happen to bind all the particles together under litification it is called compaction and cementation so next you will get this sedimentary rock so this sedimentary rock, if you put this sedimentary rock under the condition of high pressure and high temperature that we call it as metamorphism, so this uh, will make sedimentary rock to turn into metamorphic rock. So for the formation, it is in terms of cycle uh, and from metamorphic rock, if it if the metamorphic rock very near to high temperature zone in the earth, the, in the earth, uh, beneath the earth layer, it can melt down and then it will form igneous rock. So, can you explain the process to form igneous rock? What are the processes involved to form igneous rock? And then explain process involved to form sedimentary rock. Can you explain process involved to form metamorphic rock? So we already know about the simplified version of rock cycle. But basically what happened in the environment is this one. This is the complete version of rock cycle. Okay, compare with the first discussion. Igneous rock will transform to sedimentary rock. Igneous rock exposed to the environment, exposed to the atmosphere. Uh, go through weathering process have transportation happen, deposition uh, becoming sediment and then litification happen and then becoming sedimentary rock. So that sedimentary rock turn to metamorphic rock. 
But again, uh, if you can see in this picture, in this rock, in this arrow, uh, this arrow shows that um, igneous rock can transform to metamorphic uh, if undergo metamorphism. Okay, uh, the area of igneous rock, if we consider the uh, red color is igneous rock, this is a portion is very deep inside the earth and this is also the position where the igneous rock very deep down inside the earth. So this is the possible happen very high heat and have very high temperature so the igneous rock can turn into metamorphic rock so next you look at this metamorphic the arrow is uh, like here meaning that metamorphic rock can transform to sedimentary rocks especially metamorphic rock in this zone very near to the earth surface where this rock can can be uplift and exposed to the environment so the sedimentary rocks process happen and then change the metamorphic rock to become sedimentary rock and again this sedimentary rock can become sedimentary again when it exposed to the environment and then go through the sedimentary or uh, sedimentary rock formation the process and then become sedimentary rock again so the arrow missing in this picture is this one. You can add this one. Sedimentary rock can actually change to igneous rock. Uh, when this sedimentary rock near to the uh, melting zone or the very high temperature zone. So this sedimentary rock can melt down and then become an igneous rock. So this is the complete explanation about rock cycle. And... Before we end, can you draw a rock cycle? Can you explain rock cycle? So I have done my part to jot down all the notes. Uh, it is uh, all the rock is here in this rock, sedimentary rock and metamorphic rock. Um, for metamorphic rock to turn into igneous rock, this metamorphic rock must melt down. So this is melting rock. And then this melting rock crystallize and becoming igneous rock. So all the arrow is there to explain the rock cycle. So you can uh, use your own creativity to make your own notes. Uh, this is another example that can uh, very much uh, easy for us to understand and it is um, it is uh, easier for you to remember in terms of the graphic is very fun to look at. For example, this one, if uh, rock at the earth surface, how this rock to become uh, sedimentation, uh, sedimentary rock so it's undergo weathering process and then uh, erosion or transport to another place and then the deposited towards the end everything is come together under the action of compaction and cementation so this uh, basically can uh, create sedimentary rock so use your own creativity yeah, guys and then uh, make your own uh, make your own rock so we will meet again inshallah in the next module thank you